what's going on. I'm about to uh, change my oil on my Ducati 916 and um, I'll kind of show you guys uh, the steps in doing that just in case anyone needed help. First off we got to start off with the tools we need. First I have the breaker bar just in case uh, your um, uh, oil drain plug is on too tight. We got our um, socket wrenches, we got the 21 millimeter, and then our Allen wrench for the um, Allen wrench socket for the uh, drain plug, which is an 8 millimeter, I think, or 10 millimeter. And we got our uh, um, 4 liters of mortar oil and our fuel filter, or our filter. Where's our filter? Our filter. And also, you need to make sure you get you need to get the um, washers, one for the drain plug, and then one for the um, mesh filter that we're gonna take out today too. So that's everything you need to start off with. Also, it's good to have some rags, and then your oil pan. Alright, so first we start off by taking off the um, right bearing, and then, uh, as you can see, this is the filter over here, this is the drain plug, I mean, this is the drain plug, I'm sorry, and this is the, um, the mesh that's inside the uh, oil pan that helps filter out any um, um, pieces that might be circulating in your oil. So what we're going to start off first is um, taking out the drain plug. All right. Now the oil should start leaking out. There you go. Now I just picked up the Ducati about a week ago, and I don't think he's changed his oil that for a while. You can tell by um, seeing these uh, sludges in, or these, uh, yeah, sludges in the oil. So it seems like it's either been sitting for a while, or he's just really bad at maintaining the, the bike. So, so you can tell right here too, um, around the drain plug, there's some like chunks of oil. It's pretty gross. So we'll set the drain plug um, aside. So you don't lose that. Um, let that filter out. Next, we're going to take out the uh, the um, the mesh filter. <coughs> That's that mesh filter I was talking about. Pull this out. Let's see how often he cleaned this. Now I hear different stories. People tell me you should change it every other oil change, or I mean not change it, but um, clean it every other oil change, but um, I'll probably clean it every oil change to be honest. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look like there's anything, uh, any chunks of metal or anything. That looks pretty good. So I just went ahead and set it on the rags and uh, we'll clean that after we take out the oil filter. I don't have an oil filter remover, so I'm gonna have to use a socket that fits over this um, part of the oil filter right here and see if I can get it out that way. And that one on my oil filter is uh, 17 millimeters. Loose enough, so I'm just gonna loosen it some more with just my hands. Okay, well that's draining. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean off my washer here or my drain plug. Get all that gunk out, and then take out the old uh, the 
old washer here because we're going to replace it with a new one. All right, now after that's clean, I'm going to replace it with a new washer and leave it on the side for when we install it. Next, I'm going to take the um, mesh filter and then clean this off with WD-40. Once you've gotten that nice and clean, you're going to take off the old washer too. Take off this old washer here. And then replace it with a new one. Fucking that didn't fucking fit. Alright, so I guess we're going to have to use the old one. The, um... parts department gave me the wrong size. Oh, actually, no, I switched it out. This is the gasket. That was my fault. I had it on the drain plug, so that was wrong. Anyway, so you get the washer on. I'm going to set this aside until we put it back on. Now, I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm screwing the, uh, the cap for the, uh, put in the oil. Alright, looks good to me, so I'm just leave it off to the side. And right now I'm just kind of waiting for the oil <clears throat> to really drain out here. Since I doubt it's the uh, oil's been changed for a while. Alright, while we wait for that to drain, we're going to go ahead and prep um, filling our uh, Ducati with oil. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is get your filter and pour oil in here, all right? But you don't want it to overflow. So you're going to get it to the point where uh, probably a couple millimeters before it hits the, um, the threads. about good. So basically what you're doing is just kind of like priming the filter. All right. Leave that. And it uh, looks like the, most of the oil has drained out now. So what I'm going to do is uh, put in the mesh filter in first. All right, next we're gonna do is uh, the drain plug. All right, so we put on the mesh, and now we're putting on the drain plug. So right now it's uh, barely on there, like it's uh, some resistance here. Now you're just gonna just tighten it a little bit. Don't don't muscle it on. 
here you go. All right, next is gonna be the oil filter. So we got our primed oil filter. Let's put a little bit more in there. I already messed up. All right, before you put the oil filter on, you have to lube the edges of the gasket. It's a really nice, thin, light coat of oil. All right, and when you're putting it on, when you get to the point where you feel that it's touching the uh, the engine or the whatever, where it's it's just it's tiny, you're gonna do I think uh, three quarters of a turn and then stop. See right here is where I feel the gasket already touching the um, the engine case. So I'm gonna do is uh, three quarters. Alright, so what I did was I went ahead and uh, moved these uh, fuses out of the way. It's uh, held on by this um, rubber uh, mill part. So all you do is really just kind of just pull it out. Out of the way. And then this looks like it's going to be too freaking big. So we got to figure out something else. Alright, so I got an old water bottle that I cut up, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. I want to keep this uh, iron in your sight gauge here too. It should take all four liters, but... Um, here you can see the minimum line and your max line of course you want to get it to as close as you can to the max line without overgo without overfilling it so that was one liter down Alright, third liter. Okay, look at this. Now, after I put about two and a half liters in, you can see how it's, uh, it says it's to the max right now. I know for a fact this takes at least four liters, so what I'm going to do is... um put the oil cover on and I'm going to start her up for like uh, probably like 30 seconds let it cycle through and then turn her off again okay So we cycled the oil through the motor a little bit. You can see it dropped down back to minimum. <clears throat> now we're going to start for, uh, filling it up again. Now you can just go ahead and dump all four liters in and then run it, see if the oil drops. But I kind of like to do it, or I like to do it in the middle just to make sure 
um, this circulating. So I'm on my last liter, and uh, you can see it went past the max line again, and it's settling a little bit. You can see it's uh, starting to drop down a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and cycle the mortar again just to <clears throat> make the level uh, more accurate. It looked like it's just right, a little bit below the max. So I'm not quite sure if it's actually going to take the whole four liters, but um, I'll try to top it up, top it off as much as I can. You never really, you never want to over service an engine. So don't try to force four liters into it. Alright, so I think that's all it's going to really take. So we'll save the last can here. Just top it off every now and then if the oil um, level drops down. So basically we have about 400 milliliters left. And we'll just use that to top it off every now and then if the uh, the oil level if the oil level drops. So that's basically it. Uh, you put the uh, oil cap back on. And then put the fuse plug or put it back on the bracket. Put your fairings on, and you're done. And that's basically how you do an oil change on a Ducati 916. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean up a little bit here. <clears throat> Since we got this fairing off, make sure there's no leaks. And you want to inspect. You want to inspect uh, the um, uh, filter to make sure it's not leaking. You want to check the drain plug, make sure it's not leaking, and then look around the oil filter to make sure it's not leaking. And just making sure all of this is seated on properly, basically, and it looks pretty good. We got our oil level right there on the max line, so that looks good. Even though we have about 400 milliliters left over. And uh, after that, you just put on the fairings and you're good. So if you guys have any uh, questions or comments, go ahead and uh, leave it and then uh, I'll try to help you out with that. But that's, this is pretty basic maintenance on a um, Ducati or actually in any motorcycle. There's some Ducati riders that I know that um, don't do their own oil just because they feel like they can't. I think it's more of them feeling because it's a Ducati they can't do it. But uh, it's actually uh, it's actually not that bad. <coughs> All right, so we're done changing the oil. Now uh, time to uh, test ride her out. <coughs> 